Hey folks, welcome back to Coco Rare Coins and Currency. Today's topic, what if silver hits $100 an ounce? Will that make you rich? Well, let's discuss. Back in 1980, the Hunt brothers attempted to quarter the silver market. Uh, they bought all the silver that was readily available on the open market, and the price of silver literally went from 5 to $6 an ounce to $50 an ounce, literally overnight. Overnight. The problem with the Hunt brothers is they were not able uh, to secure uh, all of their loans that they had taken out to buy the silver. And the banks called them and they said, we're going to need our money. So the Hunt brothers were unable to corner the silver market. Uh, they lost a ton of money in the process due to margin calls, uh, but they tried it. Okay. So back in 1980, the price of silver peaked at $50 an ounce which is insane. Today, at the time of this video, it's $20 an ounce. But back in 1980, it was $50 an ounce. But only for a brief time, only during the Hunt Brothers' escapade to corner the silver market. So, the purpose of this video, what happens if something like that were to happen again? It happened before, it probably happened again. Considering the current silver price at $20 an ounce, um, I don't think you can get it out of the ground for $20 an ounce. My personal belief is that silver is terribly undervalued, but will it hit $50 an ounce? Will it hit $100 an ounce? I don't know. Probably, but if that were to happen, let's consider the possibilities. So, uh, in our numismatic community, there are a lot of uh, what we call silver stackers. So, these are people who buy silver. Um, in various forms, which I'll show you in just a second. They buy silver and they set it aside with the idea that one day it's going to go way up in value. And I think they're probably right, but I'm not sure that silver stacking is the right way to cash in on a quick move in silver. So, for example, um, this right here, uh, generic uh, buffalo round. Okay, this right here, one ounce buffalo round. Uh, it's 99% silver. Okay. You can buy these online right now uh, for $24, $25 an ounce. Keep in mind, silver's trading at $20 an ounce. So what we're talking about here is the premium. The difference between the cost to get it out of the ground and paper contracts. People buying and selling paper silver versus you having it delivered to your house in a commodity form is the premium. So right now, silver premiums run about four, maybe five dollars an ounce. So even though silver trades at twenty dollars an ounce, if you want to get physical possession of it, something like this, you're gonna pay twenty five, twenty six dollars an ounce. Pretty cool. Real silver. Ninety nine percent silver. Love it. There's all kinds of variations on this. Um, here we have the Australian koala uh, with the picture of uh, Queen Elizabeth, who recently passed away. This is a couple years old. Uh, this is a one ounce Australian koala coin. There you see it right there. You'll see at the bottom where it says one ounce, 999 fine silver. So one ounce silver coin, uh, government backed. Okay. Uh, another common example, uh, which pretty much everybody has seen, is the U.S. Uh, Silver Eagle. Okay, uh, one ounce, a beautiful standing liberty design on the front, um, and on the back, it does say one ounce of fine silver. Okay, uh, U.S. Silver Eagles generally trade for a premium, so whereas your generic silver. Uh, four or five dollars over uh, right now premiums and this has been the the way it has been for the past year or two premiums on u.s silver eagles is 10 to 15 dollars over spot price so even though the silver is worth about 20 21 dollars you're not gonna be able to buy one of these for anything under 33 35 dollars okay but again there's other options if you know, you know if you don't like u.s coins uh, you've got your uh, Canadian maple. So here we have a one ounce Canadian maple leaf. Okay, 
very popular coin. And on the on the front, obviously, we have Queen Elizabeth, who recently passed away. But this is your one ounce Canadian silver round. Um, if you don't like Canada, no problem. We got options for you. Uh, one of the most beautiful, beautiful sovereign silver coins that's out there is the British Britannia. That's what this is. Um, absolutely stunning. I mean, it doesn't get much more beautiful than that, folks. And on, on, on the back, of course, we have uh, the late Queen Elizabeth. Uh, but again, these are all 999, fine silver, um, government minted, uh, backed by the government, and just absolutely incredible, you know, with the trident, absolutely love it. So these are, uh, you know, one ounce um, sovereign uh, coins, okay? Um, but there's a ton of other options. So going back to Australia, this right here, and yes, th this is big. Uh, you could throw this uh, across the room, knock somebody out with it. This is a 10 ounce Australian kookaburra, okay? Um, every year, um, Australia changes uh, the bird that's featured on this coin. So this right here is a 10 ounce, uh, 999 fine silver. It's heavy, okay? You could knock somebody out with this thing. Um, on, the on the front, obviously, you have the late uh, Queen Elizabeth. Um, face value is $10, but of course, melt value is a silver spot plus, okay? Um, these are somewhat collectible. Uh, a lot of folks do collect these things. Uh, they collect them by year. Uh, this is a 2015 Kokobera, and as time goes by, you know, they do go up a little bit in value. Um, there's other options available. So this here is a 10-ounce silver Britannia. So if you thought the one ounce silver Britannia was beautiful, check this bad boy out. Look at that. I mean, yeah, <laughs> this is the size of this thing. I mean, you really could knock somebody out with one of these things. You throw it across the room. So there's your 10 ounce silver Britannia. Again, all this is 999 silver, okay? And of course, on the, on the obverse, we have the late Queen Elizabeth. I mean, these are beautiful, beautiful coins. Okay, there's no doubt about it. Um, there are also uh, what we call generic rounds. So they're not backed by any country per se. Uh, this is one of those examples, uh, Indian head. Okay, uh, this right here, uh, this is a five ounce um, silver uh, round, 999 fine silver. Okay, um, if you don't like the rounds, there's obviously options. Um, there are bars <laughs> that you can purchase. So this is a 10 ounce um, silver bar from Atmex, okay? Who is an incredible company, by the way, 100% legit, pretty good pricing. Um, hats off to Atmex, no complaints with those guys. Um, we've got a generic silver bar here uh, from Republic Metals Corporation, 10 ounce bar right here. All right, so the reason I wanted to show this stuff to you Let's say that silver hits $100 an ounce. Okay, well, that's gonna be really interesting because this 10 ounce bar is now worth $1,000. Right now, it's worth, you know, 230, 240, but if silver goes to $100 an ounce, which it, I think it probably will at some point, this bar is worth $1,000, okay? This five ounce generic round is worth $500. This 10 ounce Britannia is gonna be worth $1,000. Now, why does that matter? Well, here, here's the deal. Um, most folks who are, are in our business are well aware of the fact that uh, you know, you know, back in uh, 1980, the Hunt brothers tried to corner the market and they saw what the price of silver did. It went to the moon, literally went, went to the moon overnight, and then it collapsed because the, their margin calls got called and the Hunt brothers lost a ton of money. So if, you, if history is any guide, here's what's gonna happen. If silver does shoot to the moon, and there's a ton of videos about this on YouTube, about silver market manipulation, I'm not getting into that. But if the price of silver shoots to the moon overnight, 
it's probably going to drop back down overnight. And your local pawn shops, your local bullion dealers, they're well aware of this because, you know, history might not repeat, but it sure does rhyme. Okay. So here's the deal. Remember, silver has premiums. Okay. So this 10 ounce Britannia melt value on this, as I record this video, silver is $20 an ounce. Melt value is about 20 bucks. But it was not issued at $20. This is, a, you know, per ounce. This is a sovereign coin. This was issued at $26, $27 an ounce. So you're paying way over, you know, melt price to get a coin or a round or a sovereign, whatever you want to call it. And then when silver hits $50 an ounce, $100 an ounce, you're now going to take this coin in. I'm not 100% sure that your, your local bullion dealer or you know, pawn shop is going to pay you $100 an ounce for silver, no matter what it trades for on Wall Street, because they're worried about the price collapsing, okay? I'm not entirely sure that you paying $25, $26 an ounce for these things, when they're, the, the paper price, spot price is at 20, makes a whole lot of sense, all right? There's a ton of other metals you can get involved with. Uh, this right here, uh, this is a um, this is a five dollar uh, gold piece. Okay, so if you want to collect gold, you can do this right here, uh, five dollar gold piece uh, from 1902, I believe, 1902, San Francisco, five dollar gold piece. Uh, melt melt value on this right now is a little under five hundred dollars. Okay. Um, if you want to become even more exotic, there are other options for you. Uh, this is palladium, okay? Um, it's a little one gram bar of palladium. Um, it's worth, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks. But the really interesting, about, the interesting thing about palladium is, of course, I'm holding it close to the camera so you can see it. Uh, the one gram bar of palladium, about the size of my fingernail. That's worth 60, 70 bucks. Pretty cool. But anyways... I am not a fan of silver stacking. I do not believe that buying this stuff and holding it makes a tremendous amount of sense because remember, you're going to be paying premiums and then when you go to sell it, the guy buying it from you is not going to want to pay you the premium. He's going to want to pay you spot price. So if you're interested in precious metals, skip all of this stuff. Seriously, folks, skip all of this stuff. And here's what I want you to do. No premiums. No premiums. All you have to do is buy SLV. It's an iShares Silver Trust account, SLV. It's backed by physical silver, okay? You can buy silver basically at spot, sell it at spot. So in other, and you can do this immediately. I mean, it's, it's right here on your phone. So here's what that means. If silver goes to $50 an ounce, $100 an ounce, instead of you grabbing all of this stuff and you know, going down to your local coin dealer and seeing how much he's going to pay you for it, you can skip all of that stuff. You can skip all of that. Pull up your phone. Sell done okay so if you believe that silver is going to shoot to the moon do me a favor stay away from this stuff this is not practical what's practical is paper contracts okay all right folks i appreciate it thanks for watching like and subscribe i do i definitely appreciate it have a good one